Hi. So I wanted to make this little video here for you today. I actually wanted to make it a few days ago and then I got a little sidetracked with some other things and then I got another little nudge um, today um, from uh, when I was having a conversation with one of my coaching clients earlier today that really solidified. It's like, okay, I'm just, I'm going to make that video today. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am curious, what are you celebrating today, right now? So just pause for a moment and contemplate, what would you like to celebrate right now? It could be anything at all that feels worthy of recognition. And when I say worthy, it doesn't have to be a big deal. It doesn't have to be some big ginormous um, thing. I mean, it certainly can be. <laughs> but I feel like in our society, we're often not, we don't give ourselves permission to really recognize all the little successes and all the little things that go well every day. There's every day, just like there's um, things to be grateful for. And every day, there's always something to celebrate from every day as well. And I've been really enjoying this practice for myself of before I go to bed, it's sort of part of my before bedtime routine of writing down anything that I want to celebrate from that day. So that might be something that I can be proud of that I did. Um, you know, having it in a place in my journal uh, is like a place where, you know, again, in our culture, we're often not encouraged to be boastful. Uh, but when we can really recognize and honor when we do things that, you know, feel like good, <laughs> then actually acknowledging and um, highlighting those for ourselves can really contribute to increased feelings of self-worth, uh, really recognizing um, some of the value that we bring to the world and to our own life, um, and so can enhance those feelings of um, self-love and acceptance and all, all that lovely stuff. So anyway, that was a little bit of a digression, but um, also wanted to mention that, you know, our brains through evolution, we've been really wired to focus on what's not working and that's a survival mechanism. So, you know, it does have a purpose and it's helped us to survive, um, but it doesn't necessarily lead us to being very happy or thriving. Um, and so one of the ways that you can kind of counterbalance this natural instinct is to highlight uh, what you want to celebrate. So uh, when I first came across this concept of celebrating, you know, I, I think like a lot of people was just like, oh, I don't even that like that word was kind of uncomfortable to me. <laughs> now I love it. <laughs> and um, yeah, my uh, one of my coaching partner friends, um, we would, uh, you know, give each other these little messages on Fridays, um, you know, happy Friday, <laughs> and uh, send these little celebratory messages to each other. And then I was like thinking about it the other day, where like, you know, any day can be a yay day. <laughs> and yeah, so anyway, I would love to hear very specifically, you know, like, I would love to hear what you want to celebrate, um, what you are celebrating. And this can be here, I'm recording this like on Friday. So it could be from this past week, um, or today, or it could be, you know, any acknowledgement of anything, uh, anything that comes to mind. And yeah, like really for real, like uh, write it in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> and uh, I'd love to, I'd love to hear it. I do read the comments. And um, yeah, so maybe I'll get the ball rolling here. Um, I think one of the things for me that I really want to celebrate um, from this past week, especially, I didn't realize it was going to be a week long thing. But um, I actually was excited to celebrate it even just on Monday, which was the first day that I did it, um, was that I got up and watched the sunrise. And I often wake up in time to watch the sunrise and also often 
don't get out of bed to watch the sunrise. <laughs> and so I know that when I do, it does, it's just such a beautiful way to start the day and always puts a smile on my face. And it just really sets me up for, you know, increasing the good feelings in my body uh, right from the get go. So yeah, so I, I was, uh, that was going to be my celebration for Monday and I ended up doing it, um, every other day this week so far. Woohoo! So kind of on a little bit of a sunrise roll right now. And yeah, so, so that's something that I want to celebrate. And I think something else that, uh, comes to mind, this is, this is actually what I wrote last night in my journal, uh, with celebrating was, um, that I came across this, I was watching a YouTube video and you know, I had, I had heard this concept before a bunch of times, but you know how sometimes you might hear something a few times and then it really finally actually lands. <laughs> so I feel like I was hearing this like for the first time and just, or really, it really was landing for me was this encouragement. Oftentimes in the, in the coaching world, um, you know, there can be this idea that, you know, to be a good coach, you have to like have the perfect life <laughs> and you have to have it all figured out and have all the answers and all the success and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, what this, um, person who happens to be a very successful coach, uh, was saying is that, you know, that really doesn't matter, um, as much as we think that it does and that really, uh, he was really encouraging, um, it, I, I'm just going to say me because it felt like he was like talking right to me, but encouraging me <laughs> to, uh, he called it, he called it like the messy middle, you know, where, um, we're just in the midst of life and sometimes that can be really messy. And, uh, he was encouraging, um, the idea of, you know, bring people along for your journey through your messy middle <laughs> and, uh, yeah, anyway, it just really landed for me last night. And so I am celebrating that I am taking this step to create this video that is not perfect. And thanks for your patience with me, uh, with my handheldness. I just am um, so happy to be able to be outside and uh, with the hawthorn bush here and the birds and anyway. Okay, this message is longer than I originally intended. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And like I said, I would be so happy to read anything that comes. Ooh, sorry, there was just a big raven that just did a super low flyby. <laughs> oh, now it's just in that tree. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything that comes up for you that you want to celebrate. So yeah, I'm celebrating that there are ravens joining me for this. Oh, did you hear it? Teehee. <laughs> Oh, I love raven calls. So beautiful. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Bye for now.